A Las Vegas Raiders insider believes that Darren Waller and the Las Vegas Raiders are headed for a split after this upcoming season. Prior to the 2022 season, it is believed that Darren Waller will just become too expensive and he will not be with the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, we've already heard that there is a chance that Darren Waller wants a new contract. There is a chance that Darren Waller wants his contract reworked because Waller is severely underpaid. His cap hit this year is only 6.8 million and next year it'll be 7 million. But keep in mind, none of it's guaranteed. And on top of that, the top tier tight ends right now are making like 15 to 16 million dollars. So when you look at it from the perspective that Darren Waller is a top two to four tight end in the league, he is severely underpaid. Now, a lot of people will talk about the fact that he did sign a four year, $29.8 million contract back in 2019 but that was a long time ago at this point right like darren waller has proven that he's much better than that 29.8 million dollars that he was given now this raiders insider was actually quoted saying the following he said foster moreau will be a lot more affordable than darren waller but i think you can probably get renfro and morrow done you have all these new contracts you have chandler jones Devonte adams and now Derek carr i kind of feel like waller is the odd man out I think he probably won't be here past this year, but you never know. Now, it's very interesting when you look at it from that perspective, because let's be honest, Darren Waller is going to get a contract raise. It's just a matter of when it happens. But at the same time, Hunter Renfro's due a contract. Josh Jacobs is due a contract. Andre James, the center for the Las Vegas Raiders, is also due a contract. So there's so many contracts that are due just on the offensive side of the ball that you may not be able to continue to make these investments in, in, in a lot of these players. You know, chances are between Jacobs, between Waller, between Renfro and James, you're going to lose two or three of these guys because you still have defensive players that need to be paid. Trayvon Mullen, Jonathan Abram are just two guys that are due contracts after this season. Denzel Perryman, a pro bowler just this past season, is also due a contract. So there's so many contracts the Raiders have due that we're going to lose a lot of these players. And a lot of that is actually credited to uh, John Gruden and Mike Mayock for doing a really good job the past couple of years. You know, people kill those two and, and say that they did a terrible job drafting. And yes, they drafted a lot of busts, but they got a lot of second to seventh round picks and gems in undrafted and all this good stuff that when you look at the core players that the Raiders have right now, Darren Waller, Hunter Renfro, Max Crosby, Josh Jacobs. That's basically the core that the Raiders have that will help them win a Super Bowl one day. That is because of the drafting of Mike Mayock and John Gruden. Now, with all that being said, could the Raiders potentially bring in both Darren Waller and Hunter Renfro? You know, a lot of Raider fans love Hunter Renfro and they want Hunter Renfro be, to be the first one signed. But in my opinion, if it was between Darren Waller and Hunter Renfro, I think Darren Waller makes more sense. I think tight ends a much harder position to find. Plus, it's a lot cheaper to pay a tight end than it is to pay a wide receiver. Like what does Hunter Renfro want in terms of AAV, right? Like does he want an average salary of 15 million or 21 million, right? So it's going to really depend on what Hunter Renfro wants. Now, I will say this. It is clear that Derek Carr wants Hunter Renfro paid. He said it yesterday on Twitter that the Raiders should not go after Debo Samuel. Instead, we should pay Hunter Renfro. And it is clear to me that Hunter Renfro is likely going to be a Raider long term. It'll just depend on how much money he ends up getting. But is Darren Waller on the outs? And it's such a crazy question to think. But Darren Waller is such a nightmare matchup for safeties and linebackers and corners. And he's such a great tight end that it's so hard to make the decision between the two players, right? But I will say this, the Raiders have started bringing in a bunch of tight ends. They've started to look at tight ends via the draft. And in my opinion, you can kind of say that maybe the Raiders also feel that Hunter Renfro is the one that's gonna get the contract. And maybe it's not Darren Waller. At the same time, you can't really trade away Hunter Renfro. You don't have the ability to trade him away because he's going to be due a contract. As opposed to Darren Waller, he has two years on his contract left. So you may be able to trade Waller and you may be able to get a first round pick for Waller. Either way, the Raiders are in a very tricky situation with Darren Waller. And I think if you are able to bring back Darren Waller and Hunter Renfro and maybe let Josh Jacobs walk, I think that would be the better thing to do. Now, Josh Jacobs is a great player, in my opinion. But Josh Jacobs is also a running back, and running backs generally don't last that long. And I think Darren Waller still has a, you know, at least five years in his career left, and Hunter Renfro has likely five plus years in his career left. So 
I think the Raiders got to come up and, and really decide how they're going to keep this team going forward. But the fact that Derek Carr did take a team-friendly contract does make it that much easier. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.